Ahoy there, listeners, and welcome to a... What is this? Is it a, a, a Hootenanny episode? Oh, I think that sounds... What is it? It a, sounds like people can have a lot of fun listening to it. I don't want to get yeah, in that room. Is it a... Is it a... What? An, an old year's night. Don't, a Hogmanay episode. Don't put any pressure on me, man. I, mean, I, have to, I don't have to... I, I don't, I, well, <laughs> it's a New Year sorry episode. Listeners, it will, sorry, listeners, it will. it's a New Year episode. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to, to a New, New Year's, Year's episode, episode, which will come out around <laughs> New Year at some point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to New Year's episode of uh, the Captain's Horror Meltdown. My name is Cammy. As always, I will be your captain on this journey. And I'm joined, always, uh, also as always, uh, <laughs> by my coal scuttler... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scuttle monkey, supreme. Is that John. is that a real job? Gold scuttler. I'm sure it was a. I'm sure it was a real job when uh, trains ran on steam. We're not on a fucking train, you madman. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not, but we're still unsure. Are we? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair. We came back. We came. We were on shore for Christmas. Okay. We've st- we've stayed on shore for the week between. We're here for Hogmanay because we can't take to the seas. Pest. Well, it's irresponsible. I don't know if you if you. Well, once you, we're out there, it's fine. Yeah. You, but we can't. You've met Rachel's dad. In and out of you, you've met my wife's dad. Oh. Have you not? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, likes a bit of sea. I'm, likes a bit of booze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it, is it, uh, he's probably not been to see sober very often. No, well, yeah, no. probably not. No. <laughs> that's dangerous. <laughs> that's dangerous what, to do. So. Why would you? You know. <laughs> well, we're still unsure. The boat's ready, waiting, ready for action. We're going to get out there. We've got some exciting films to see in 2019. Well, we've got some films, and that's and that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're this gonna is another, another mini episode. We're sat here by the fire. We've got a whiskey. We've got a beer. <laughs> we're going to just have a little chat about some things that we've heard might be coming up in 2019. Yes, I think we're going to have a little talk about um, things that are coming up. Uh, well, things that we're looking forward to coming up, certainly. Um, yeah. And what's always strange about this is you kind of look at upcoming films, um, especially in the horror genre, and yeah. you've got all these biggies, and there's there's a few of them. Um, but, there's a few biggies. But what you yeah. never know is, are you going to get something a little bit far out that is completely off radar? Are yeah, you, they... you going to get a Bone Tomahawk? Are you going to get a Martyrs? You just don't know. You just don't know. Yeah, who knows? I mean, that's the thing. That's the beauty of it. I mean, quite often these films, you'll just... Uh... You'll just sort of maybe see an interesting trailer or something and go along and see it, and then you'll just be blown away by it. Yep, yep. Or just pick it up randomly, you know. Or, oh, yeah, just totally randomly. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which is how I discovered a lot of these films that we're, you know, talking about in our main thread of the podcast. It's just a. Well, exactly. Random word of mouth, um, things you just picked up because you you thought, I'll just. Well, back, that looks nuts. Yeah, I'll rent that. Um, well, back in the day, because they had a the lurid, lurid video sleeve. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> which promised, like, fucking insane levels of gore and loads of nudity. And then when you actually watched it, it had been cut to ribbons and there was nothing. Yes, yeah, just delivered, it delivered a huge amount of tedium. Yeah, yeah, that was that was, <laughs> that was pretty standard for the VHS days in the UK, anyway. Yep, yeah, certainly, absolutely. Um, well... I, I, I have to say, I've j- I basically have had a bit of a cursory glance at what's coming up in the year. So I mean, you probably you might have some more heavy hitters than me. But I mean, I, I think that the, the, the biggie seems to be it too. Absolutely. I think that's, that's top of my list of, you know, I enjoyed the first one. Um, I enjoyed the first one as well. well did you enjoy it? Well, you, well, when you say the first one, are you talking about the original or are you talking about the first part of the remake? Both. I'll say both. But uh, I yes. was I was referring to the first part of the remake, definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed that one as well. It's, you know, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a very, very, as you would expect, being so many years on, it's a very different film to the, um, well, it was a TV series. It was like a TV film. It was a miniseries, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 Um, 
with the how, absolutely how... inevitable, uh, you know, but man, Tim Curry. <sighs> let's just let's just see Tim Curry and just have a Jesus, moment, a moment's pause and go, man. wow, what a guy. Genuinely, one of those, uh, it has to be said that the, the original, uh, I mean, I, it, it wasn't shown as a TV movie over here, I don't think. It was only, but I, I, it was out on a sort of three-hour VHS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which... Must was it two tapes? Was it a double tape? I remember having a massive box. Yeah, it was a double tape. Yeah, it was a double taper. Um, and it, one of the one of the very first horror films to genuinely unsettle me yeah. as a child. He, it, oh man, the clown down the drain. Come on, man, that is <laughs> absolutely <laughs> fucking terrifying. Tim yeah, Curry. I, I would agree. And I have to say that the, I, I, I think, I, I don't know, I mean, everyone that I know that went to see it, the new, the new version of it, loved it. Yeah. It seems that some people didn't like it. I don't know who these people are. I, I thought it was <laughs> I, I, I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a bit of a bit of a it, sort of, it just sort of ticked in quite nicely with the whole sort of Stranger Things phenomenon yeah, yeah, that was kicking off at yeah, the time yeah. didn't it it really did that sort of like sort of you know kids on a kids on a mission sort of thing and uh, I, I just thought it was like really well directed and just like brilliantly played as well fucking Pennywise yeah, think, terrifying yeah. as ever well that was I think a lot of people had problems with the portrayal of Pennywise but one of them was not me certainly no, no. Uh, I thought it was great but you know full props to, I mean you know Tim Curry back in the day he has played two Roles that are burnt into the imagination of our genre, yeah. our age age rather. It's um, you got Frankenfurter and yeah. it, and holy shit! I mean, wow, what a props to that guy. He just what a fucking legacy. Yeah. Oh, honestly, honestly, it's just incredible. I mean, you walk away with that as an actor. I mean, I know he wasn't exactly a prolific actor in general, but to have those. Under your, oh, oh honestly, yeah. Un- unbelievable, right. unbelievable. Right. Full and props to that guy. The thing that I'm uh, really, uh, I, I like, I, I really liked about the first day, and I'm, I'm sure it'll be exactly the same with part two. Is that certainly when I went to see it in the cinema, the cinema was rammed. It's yeah. very rare that I go to a, a horror screening that's rammed at all. Yeah. Yeah, totally. You know, genre films over here, at least, generally, you know, maybe, okay, fair enough, I don't usually tend to go on a Friday or Saturday night, so I'm sure they'll be busier then, but, you know, like, quite, like, I went to see it uh, not on a Friday or Saturday night, and it was full of uh, j- j- general punters, but, like, a lot of, you know, young couples out to be scared. Yeah, and like yeah, actually yeah. properly, like, you know, people screaming in the cinema and giving it, ah, like, you know, a, a, a just a really great experience. Really thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'm sure it'll be the same with it too. People are going to go along to scare themselves, and I think that they they'll, they'll probably succeed. It's great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's a, it's a huge tick on my list. I have to say. Yep. Um, one, I'm absolutely baffled about why there is another one of these. Is a uh, World War Z 2. Oh, what the fuck is that all about, man? Right, I... (laughs) Well, I feel a rant coming on. (laughs) Well, the thing is, right, I... I... I, Have you read the book World War Z? I have, yes. I really fucking liked the book. I really thought it was a really great... I loved the style of the fact that it was like, you know, a little bit of, you know, it was like taking a sort of reportage from around the world, different places, different times. I was like pretty flabbergasted when they said they were going to try and make a film out of it and string something coherent along to it. Um, when the film actually came out, there was a lot of excitement about it because they filmed it in Glasgow. I was actually shooting another film at the time in Glasgow and it was, you know, we were a massive film. <laughs> I was like shooting yeah. uh, Cloud Atlas at the time. But we were dwarfed by World War Z. I like, just, like, completely dwarfed. Oh, really? Oh, uh, well, to an extent, yeah. Um, 
I suppose you got Brad Pitt, so there you Brad, go. Fucking Brad for Pitt. Ten, I mean, it? everyone, basically we got left alone a lot of the time by the paps and stuff, even though we had Halle Berry with us and stuff. That sounds pretty good, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> Keith, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Keith David, though, man. I got to work with Keith David. Amazing. The oh, hardest absolutely. the hardest Keith in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking badass. And a gem. <laughs> Lovely. Um, <laughs> but when the film came out, right, I'll tell you, I fucking hate quick zombies. They weren't, the zombies weren't fast in the fucking book. No, no, no. They're fucking swarming zombies in this. They're like Get extraordinarily to fuck fast. With your fucking fast zombies. Fast. Get to fuck. But that said, I I didn't hate the film as much as I thought I was going to when I saw it. Yeah. I've never watched it again. I've probably got no desire to watch it again. But I, no, I'll never watch it again. It was no, enjoyable no. enough, but. What the what is going on? World War Z two. What is Brad Pitt in it again? I don't know. I just it oh. just it just it popped up. It's like what? Nah. I don't understand why this is happening. I just don't understand it. I'm not interested. I'm not no, interested. I, I'm gonna. You know, I could be surprised, but I, I might be surprised. I, I, I'll. Do you know what? I'll support. I'll support the genre. I'll go along and see it probably. But no, not interested. What? Uh, what's your take on uh, the fact that Rob Zombie's got a new film out? Excited about that. See from hell. Um, Because that's uh, following on from Devil's Rejects, which I I do enjoy. I've not seen Devil's Rejects. Holy fucking balls. What? Yep. Uh, What was the one we saw at uh, Freight Fest? The one with the... Always um, uh, Lords of Salem. Lords of Salem. That was a bit of a weird one. I love Lord of Salem. It's yeah. a very, very divisive film. <laughs> is, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. it was, you either actually really like it or you, or you fucking, fucking hate despise it. it. Yeah. yeah, there's no in between. No one comes out of it going, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, which is a, it's a, that's a great quality in a film for me. I love that. Yeah. It's like, you know, just love it or hate it. There's no in between. Absolutely terrific. And so I'm looking forward to that. Um, well, Rob Zombie's an interesting one as well because he's just so fucking dark, man. He is. There's I no mean, fucking his, middle ground, really, is there? His films are. No, his Halloween remakes are extraordinarily brutal. Insanely violent and just dark and quite sleazy feeling. It's got a really. Oh, yeah, totally. Really yeah, 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 grubby vibe to him. Uh, you know, like like he was in his music career, you know, very much you know, similar kind of vibe to that. Yeah. Um, and I might have forgetting the name of his first film before Devil's Rejects, but. Uh, Oh, I can't remember either. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to have to look it up. This is fucking horrendous. Oh. <laughs> but again, I quite enjoyed that. Um, uh, and this one, three, do you know anything about Three from Hell? Uh, no, all I know is it is a follow on from Devil's, Devil's Rejects. Rejects. Oh, um, I, I suspect it's going to be. Although he says it's a departure from that. I don't know all what right. that's going to. I don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> Interesting. Um, but what I, th- I think it was um, thirty one was what his last film, which was uh, billed as being like really horrific and blah blah blah, and I just couldn't be fucked with it at oh. all. I hated it. Oh dear! I, I fact that I turned off after forty minutes, which is well, uh, you know me. Yeah, you know me. I'll, you'll I'll, sit, I'll sit. You'll play through. Yeah, I'll sit. Yeah, I'll sit through a lot of shit. Yeah, but um, that, I did not enjoy that. House of a Thousand Corpses. House of um, a Thousand Corpses. That's the one. That's yeah. Really, very, very strange film. Um, totally recommend that. Uh, but yes, I will put my hands up and say I'm looking forward to From Hell. Excellent. And uh, what about uh, Zombieland Two? Talking about sequels. Holy shit! Yes. Oh yes, man, I fucking 100% loved yes. Zombieland. Fucking loved it. Well, they've waited this long so they can get everybody from the original film involved in this one Does I... talking di- talking actors <laughs> writers the fucking lot amazing amazing I, I'm like yes this I mean <laughs> this you know, this is a big look forward to absolutely no question because that film is a piece of genius it is fucking brilliant yeah yeah loved it uh, and in fact I it's a film that I quite, I really should get back around to again I've, I've I've seen it a few times but I've not watched it recently and uh, when I read that there was a Zombieland 2 coming out I was very excited about it and thought, fuck, I must go and watch the zombie land. Yep. So the only person we don't know is uh we don't know if Bill Murray's gonna be back. Oh, That's the only thing we don't know. Oh <laughs> man, Bill Murray, what a fucking performance by Bill Murray Ab- in that original. Absolutely legendary. Ab- I was like, holy Absolute shit. Absolute 
dynamite. I mean, that guy has been around for years, squillions of films, classic films, but you look at this and go, wow, he's absolutely knocked out of the park. Yeah, totally. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> totally. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I am super excited for that film. Excellent. That, that, that's going to be top of my that's near to the top of my list sir. I think we're question. certainly uh, in terms of It 2, 3 from Hell and Zombieland 2 we're probably going to have to do side missions for all these as they come out yep yep I'd imagine breaking the chain many times um, talking about uh, so continuing with the old sequels oh, lots of sequels so far lots of sequels so far uh, all, yep. all sequels in fact uh, what about Leprechaun Returns um, yeah that popped up my radar I don't give a fuck no you're not a fan nope. of the original even? You know? You're not a fan of Leprechaun in the Hood? No. No. <laughs> you just you, no. your deep hatred of the Irish. Uh, just... uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey Dave. Don't speak about Dave like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time <clears throat> Leprechaun Returns comes out, Dave will probably have been burned in a sort of Wicker Man esque incident at the next meltdown. I don't think we should broadcast that because it'll oh, point shit. towards yeah, who did it. Oh, yeah, let's just censor that out. Yeah. Let's beep that out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he'll be, he'll be, Dave will return home safe well, unless he's been burned uh, or recommended. I'm talking yeah. about uh, uh, not giving a fuck, um, what about the rumoured, I don't know if this is true or not, the uh, rumoured uh, Werewolf, American Werewolf from London remake? Yep, that's on my list. Um, interestingly, uh, helmed by... The son of the original director. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Max Landis. Hmm. Ah, now, hold on. That Would that be the first film that he's directed? It was interesting, because um, no. John Landis was uh, the... the uh, what was the previous Dead by Don Horror Festival to go to? Um, and when he was quizzed about it, when he was asked about it, he remained very diplomatic. Right. But very tight-lipped. Oh God! It's because uh, it so was Ma- I don't. It was Max Landis did it right as well, wasn't it? Yes, oh, yes. The uh, the Netflix disaster. Um, so I don't know. He, he didn't say very much about it. So I'm presuming he's not a fan of the idea. Oh. But so I'm I, I'm feeling a family rift coming on. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, 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 so yeah, I want to leave that to one side. It's like, I mean, for fuck's sake! I mean, oh, yes, okay, remakes are rife, but for fuck's sake! Yeah, what's the fucking this point? This is a ludicrous classic. I mean, it's it's. I don't know what else they're going to do with it. Suspiria, when they first announced doing the remake, I was like, well, oh, terrible idea turned out pretty good um, but I can't see how they would do something like that with that material God yeah no God what can they they can't uh, are you, the thing is it was so pivotal that, I mean all the all the actors that were in those were just what was that word pivotable pivotable <laughs> the actors were pivotal to the to the sort of success of that film. I think. Absolute, absolute, no, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely nailed it. Those guys, uh, and I mean, I I just I find it like hard to imagine who you'd cast it with nowadays. Although that's, that's or the or the effects as well. I mean, what are they going to do oh with those? God, I You're mean, those gonna, are like yeah. legendary effects yeah. by Rick Baker. Absolutely legendary. Yeah. I was like, what are you going to do? If you're going to CGI that shit, you can get the fuck out of my town. Yeah, yeah. God. So I I, I have Down already... Have anim- I'm animo- I've, you know, I've got animosity towards it before I know anything about it. Um, will it actually come out this year? Oh, we don't know. I'm, I, like, in general, in principle, I'm not opposed to remakes. I've been remaking films since the dawn of cinema, but um, I just don't see the point with this one at all, really. No, it's it's honestly it, it's like you know what it's like remaking with Neil and I. <sighs> yeah, what's the fucking point? Perfection. Why would you possibly? Why would you do it? You can't recreate that atmosphere no, at no. all. You can't do anything different with it. It's no. <sighs> yeah, it's a no for me I'm as not, well. I, yep. I mean, don't get me wrong. The thing is, I'm not even sure I will see it in the cinema. I'll probably just wait until I can. You know what? I'll, I'll just really fuck him off by downloading it illegally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah totally, <laughs> totally. That's the way to do it. Stick it to the man. And, that, and then I'll send. And then I'll send John Landis a fiver. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, speaking of old schools, uh, 
Pet Cemetery. Oh, is there a remake of that coming out? Is there? Yeah, there is. There oh, is. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> nice. Who's doing that? Well, I think it's. I, I don't know, but um, a bit interesting because when you say remake, it's kind of it's different because I suppose it's based on a book. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's not really it's a really remake. The, it's a different, no, a different just, adaptation. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know anything about it, but I didn't even really like the first one very much. <laughs> I don't even I don't even really remember the first one that much. I haven't seen it since it came exactly. out. So exactly, it's, just, it's exactly. not very memorable at all, is it? <laughs> no, no. It's a, it's 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 one of the you know it's one of the Stephen King remakes that just slightly <sighs> goes above the fifty percent mark. Yeah, God. Uh, what about uh, Alien Awakening? Oh God, who knows, man? Anything did you could see, happen. Did you Anything see Covenant could happen. at all? I did. I, I yeah, did. Yeah. I. Uh, I've got to be honest. I quite. I quite enjoyed it in the cinema, but I've not really visited uh, it. So that probably tells you as much you need to know. I guess. Prometheus fucked me off so much that I was just like, "Nah, I can't do it. I'm out." No, I mean the, the next one was very much a more an alien. Of a action, yeah. actiony. You know what? I mean, at the end of the day, everything's been downhill since Aliens. That's true. And no one can deny yeah. that. No one can deny it. Even if we ever get to see David Fincher's directorial cut of Alien 3, I'm sure it'll be pish compared to those first two films. Yeah. Um, Bonafide classics they, you know, they were, for those two. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just absolutely extraordinary films. Everything about them is amazing. Yeah. Every single detail is amazing. Yeah. Soundtrack, acting, story. Yeah. Directing, Special effects, it's just like phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, mean, I, I'd say you know, let's leave that alone. Yeah, God, don't go there. Stop it, Ridley. Stop it, Wrigley. <laughs> old, old Wrigley Scott. Um, Wrigley. Now, what about what was your take on Get Get Out last year? Uh, loved it. I loved it as well. I and uh, jo- particularly loved the uh, wigged out scenario of why it was all happening yes really brought me back to like wild grindhouse 80s vhs yeah stuff. totally and um, which i hadn't actually i hadn't really linked the two until i read an article about it the other day uh talking about skeleton key oh yeah, quite, yeah, quite yeah similar yeah, yeah. vibe in skeleton key love that film yeah that, um, that's a good little film that, so yeah. jordan peele uh he's got a new horror film called us uh out this yep. year as well, which um, I went in to get out, not knowing anything about it really, which is good. It wasn't spoiled for me at all. Uh, I think that there was a bit of a sleeper hit over here, really, wasn't it? And um, I'm really yep. excited to see what he does uh, with a new film. Uh, I think it was. I enjoyed it. It was great. Really well made, well acted. Loved it. So yep. I'm very excited. Loved about it. I don't know anything about it. it, and I'm going to try not to find anything out about it as we go forward. I just don't want to yeah, know. Yeah, I think that's my vibe these days. It's like if I no. want to go and see something, I don't want to read any yeah. reviews. I want to be excited about going to see the film. I don't want to hear anybody's take on it because no, you know, not. the no, people that review exactly. films, they're not us. And I, one of the big things I always think about is yeah. um, like the rotten tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, fuck it. I'm going to go on tomatoes. Fuck off and die. Um, yeah. <laughs> you see tomato, I see tomato. Because it's, <laughs> it's a tomato. And what I love about those yeah. sites is you, is you get the sort of critic score and then the audience score. And I always trust the audience score more than the critic score. Yeah. Because we are I know. Audience. I mean, the, the, the older I get, critics. the more I'm like, what is even the point of like film criticism, really? You know, if it was purely technically based, then fair enough. But do you know, a lot of time I read reviews for things after I've come out of cinema and been like, I might not be blown away by something, but I've, I've passed an enjoyable hour and a half or two hours, and have, you know it's been entertaining enough. I'm not, I'm not really demanding anything more. And then you come out and you read totally. some totally. vitriolic review that's sort of spouting off about like what load of fucking nonsense it is. I fucking get a grip. Give fucking yeah. Give us peace, mate. Give us peace. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, the other exciting thing with uh, Jordan Peele this year is that he is producing a reboot of the Twilight Zone series. Oh, that's oh okay, okay. That's I like which, the sound of that. Yeah, which uh, I'm. I, a lot of people have been sort of sort of crying horror about it. Oh my, uh, you can't. Uh, make I mean if they're coming up with new stories 
and there's of course there's a place for it. Yeah, like I it's mean, it's only a name. That's exactly. All it is. Fucking Black Mirror has been largely great. I mean, obviously there's some duds of episodes in there, but do you know what I mean? It's the same thing. Like if you're coming up with great little contained, self-contained little mini stories every week, fantastic. Bring it on. Love yeah, it. Yeah, I'll I'll be there every week. See what's going on. Looking forward to seeing that. Um. I was intrigued to read that. I don't. It's got some kind of a stupidly long name, I, which I I didn't note down. But I see there's a Ted Bundy biopic coming out. Oh, serial killers, serial killers, Jesus. and that Zac Efron is playing Ted Bundy. Right. Okay. Might be um, interesting. <laughs> yeah, it might be. <laughs> yeah, oh, whatever. And uh, <laughs> I do. I mean, I like I like a bit of a serial killer movie, so that might be my serial killer movie for the year. Absolutely. <laughs> loved uh, loved Zodiac. Zodiac was yep. fantastic. Cammy's got a favourite serial killer film from every year of cinema. Absolutely. And, yep. Uh, <laughs> yet another Grudge film coming out. Oh, is there a new Grudge film? Yep. 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 <sighs> I I'll lump that with, lump that with like, yeah, another Annabelle film coming out. And, oh, uh, so that, and a Conjuring film. What else was I looking at? This is not, after seeing the first trailer for it, definitely not going to be a horror film, but uh, uh, Glass. Oh, yes. The follow up from Split or Deep, the sequel to Unbreakable. <laughs> yeah, well, we saw, we saw the trailer for this together, didn't we, in the cinema? We did, uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, I'm intrigued. I'm I'm more intrigued as to how he managed to get this off the ground. Well, I think you know he, he got a bit. <laughs> what, he, Split was a success. Let's be honest, that was a success. But I, he's I, managed I, to get Samuel L. Jackson, yeah, Bruce Willis, oh yeah, and James McAvoy. Wild, big. Three fucking big hitters. That is not going to be a sizable portion of his budget is going to be made up under salaries. Yeah, and he is combining three of his films into one super sequel. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's it fucking wild. audacious, man. Wild. <laughs> it's audacious. Absolutely wild. And for a man that has had more failed films than successful films. Yeah, but he's got an imagination. <laughs> he does, you know. But is it a good imagination? Well, no, not all. He's, no, he's got a good imagination, but has he got the directing talent? I think he does. <laughs> I do think he does. I like that old old person film that you showed us. <laughs> oh, uh, oh uh, what was that called? Uh, I've lost that. Yeah, that was kind of just like a little kind of comeback that sort of made some yeah. waves. Yeah. I like that. It to, was really good. It was fun. Then went to <laughs> Split after that, I think. Actually, I've not seen Split um, yet, so I need to see Split. Oh, it's, it is good. It's 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 bonkers. I mean, you know what? You know, Shyamalan is kind of like my... <laughs> Shyamalan <a> ding-dong. <laughs> That's why uh, I, I thought it would be really funny if we could, uh, in our previous podcast, if we got on to M. Night Shyamalan, how we would have shoehorned that name into the title song. <laughs> We're face punching. <laughs> so, um, I'm sure but, we'll get to some Shyamalan on the, on the main episodes of this at some point. I'm sure. I mean, you know, what I like about him is he doesn't give a fuck. That's he true. Is left to, that is true. He's, ge- he's generally left to do his own thing. Yeah. And you know what? I, I you know I I compare him to a modern day Argento, uh, not necessarily in the films that he makes, but in the mindset of it. It's um, I'm okay. Keep going. It, I'm intrigued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But very <laughs> kind of similar. It's like you got those early films. Yeah. Absolutely genius. Yeah. And then a quagmire of bullshit. Yeah. And what Argento hasn't done is dragged himself out of the Yeah, he's, ne- he's never going to now. I mean, I, I, I love so. Argento, but Argento is never coming back. He's never going to make a final masterpiece. <sighs> yeah, he's I made think so right, many but... bad films now for so long. I, like, I know, I, man. I know, but, he, but you know what I mean? He's one of those directors. <laughs> what I mean is you've, you've always got hope in you do that have something hope. is yeah. going to come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, true. And so that's why I kind of tie those two together in a way. Although they're very, very different directors. Yeah. Um, so I've got I've got really high hopes for this film. I hope it's amazing, um, and I think there's a very dangerous chance it could be our 
we could even be side missioning this before we release our next full episode. I, but, oh yeah, of course it comes out mid uh, mid January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'll let, into, I'll let into a secret. I've not edited one second of our <laughs> main main free podcast, so that's why there could be a very decent chance. <laughs> Well, uh, no, I think we'll definitely be going to see it, and we will definitely be side side mission in it. I think. Yeah, I'm I'm into it. I'm into it. I just I, I want to see that film. I want it to be great. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to go in there again. I'm just not, I'm not going to read one review. I'm well, just going to go and see it. That's going to start us off nicely for the year. I think. Um, I don't think there was anything that I saw that was particularly more notable than that. I mean, I. Dragged Across Concrete comes out in the UK at some point this year as well, which is another yeah, yep, genre yep. piece. We've uh, covered a couple of uh, Zalder films already. Obviously our last, last two podcasts yep. of the full films have been uh, Mr Zeller. Zeller. Yep. Uh, so we'll be looking forward to that as well. But I think that uh, I've got reasonably high hopes for 2019 in the, in the horror terms. And actually... Totally. Actually, one thing I was going to bring yep. up is um, a film called Brightburn. Right. Written by James Gunn and his brother. Right. Um, and will be his next film involvement since he got so booted got, off oh, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, good. Which is a fucking travesty. Yeah, God, I think they're probably going to regret that. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's just oh, it's embarrassing, really, wasn't it? But they they were, were, I mean, honestly, were, yeah, I mean, come on, I mean, come on. I mean, what, what's your take on that? Mm. The thing is, I don't think that... I think, uh, w- yeah, I mean... Uh, man, everybody said stupid stuff at some point. He made some bad taste mm-hmm. jokes. I don't think he made anything that's in, uh, any more or more offensive than a lot of people uh, have made. And certainly that a lot of... If he was a comedian, then no one would bat an eyelid about it, probably. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, loads of comedians totally have said completely outrageous things in the past. And, I mean... Yeah, certainly early days of Twitter and things, I mean, people they weren't really thinking that people are going to be going back 10 years later to look at what you've written. I just think that, uh, I just think that... But was he not like, kind of like... Disney you know, was he not, was not, into Some it? guy that just uh, yeah. hated him and dragged yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate James Gunn. I'm going to drag this up from ten years. I mean, yeah, no, it's a right wing agitator. If you know anything about, if you know anything about Scotland, you'll know about Frankie Boyle oh, as yeah, a comedian. Exactly. This guy's still on BBC, for Christ's sake. The things he says are outrageous, but they're funny. Yeah. Well, his, uh, Frankie Boyer's review of the year that was just out there uh, for 2018, he just says at the start of it, he's like, yeah, like it's my job as a satirist to make light of the most serious situations yeah. that have happened throughout the year and like find things to make them funny because that's what my job is. And he's yeah. fucking brutal, man. Absolutely brutal. Well, he is absolutely brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond brutal. Beyond brutal. <laughs> and I, yeah, I think that it's one of those things that I think that um, Disney were railroaded into it. And I mean, the thing is, the whole fucking casting stones, glass houses things, I'm sure there's plenty of other people in the Disney Corporation. In, in, Shaggy like, kids. But yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Come Probably. on, you know that. Yeah, you know, do you know what are. I mean? There'll be loads of there'll be loads of people who have said plenty of worse things. And uh, fucking hell, Walt Disney was he not a Nazi anyway? I well, mean, obviously. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty early. <laughs> just a bit of a shame for the man. But and I, and I also think that they'll probably come to regret it. Although they have apparently kept his script, uh, which is probably a bonus for them anyway. But Jesus. Well, that's the thing though. that's the thing I don't get it's like oh well you have yeah. to go but we'll keep your script what the fuck what the fuck anyway there we go 2019 well uh, looking forward to the year obviously uh, come the 29th of March we're going to be in a sort of a terminal nosedive we are just going to be never docking again on the boat the meltdown Oof, it seems that way HMS meltdown we'll just be out there <laughs> Cruising the high seas, um, and uh, we won't be able to come back because we won't be part of Europe anymore. Nope, we'll get stranded in foreign waters and have to just we'll just go we down with the ship, I guess. We won't be able to get our blue passports. No, God it's gonna oh be my a fucking disaster. God, oh. <laughs> that will be that will be made in France, perfect. And uh, 
Yes, oh. exactly. The bill. Classic. Mm. You couldn't make it up. Merry Brexit. <laughs> Merry Brexit, everyone. Well, you shouldn't uh, guess. We're not fans of Brexit. <laughs> we're not fans of it. No, fuck Brexit. Um, well, there you go. There's our little mini, mini look forward to 2019. Yep. Our next episode may be on the chain, or it might be... It might not be. We'll it see. might not be. We'll I just have figure I'll it out. I've had my microphone fixed by now. Yeah, indeed. I'll we'll see what we can do with this beast. Um, yeah, gold. Do some, gold and do some software magic. <laughs> yes, God. Um, uh, so the, I think that brings us to a close. Thanks yes. for thanks for listening, everyone. And uh, wherever you are, we at the Captain's Forum Meltdown wish you a very happy year, happy new year, very happy twenty nineteen. <laughs> Yes, which won't happen, but we do wish it. If we wish it, it's not going to happen. It's going to be a fucking killer. But anyway, never mind. <laughs> Might as well just stay home, get drunk and punch yourself in the face.